Okay, here we have one that looks really, really messy. But again, we're just going to do one step at a time. So looking at what we have, we have things that are multiplied, and then we have a big division problem. All of it is being raised to this power. So I think that probably, uh, before we do anything else, let's get rid of this all being raised to this power. Let's literally distribute that power to every single item in here, both numerator and denominator. So that's going to give us x to the two-thirds raised to the one-third. Well, power to power, we multiply. So two-thirds times one-third would be two over nine. And then y to the negative one-third raised to the one-third. Again, power to power, we would multiply. So that would be y to the negative one-ninth. Now, on the bottom, we're going to have eight raised to the one-third, which would be eight to the one-third and x to the one-half raised to the one-third. Again, power to power we multiply, so that would be x to the one-sixth. And then here we have y to the one-third power. Okay, still's not looking a whole lot better, is it? Well, looking at what we have here, the one thing that strikes me probably the, the, the soonest whenever I look at this, it's soonest, that's probably not even a, a correct word or, or way to say it, but I notice those negative exponents pretty much right away and go, hmm, this is saying that this is not in the right position. This needs to go down to the bottom in order to correct that negative exponent. So I'm going to rewrite that that way. This would be x to the two ninths over eight to the one-third, x to the one-sixth, y to the one-third, and we're going to drop that y to the one-ninth right down to the bottom and correct that exponent. Now, let's go ahead and let's simplify these one at a time. Uh, I'm going to look at my numbers first because I only have eight to the one-third, and actually I'm going to pull that out to the side here so we can look at that. 8 to the 1 third means the cube root of 8. And the cube root of 8 is really 2. So we could rewrite 8 to the 1 third as 2. And that is now as simple as that part of it gets. Now let's look at our x's. Here we have x to the 2 ninths on top and we have an x to the 1 sixth on bottom. Well, when we are dividing like terms, we have to subtract their exponents. So this would be the same thing as saying x to the 2 ninths minus 1 sixth power. When we subtract these exponents, don't forget we need a common denominator. So between 9 and 6, that would be an 18. And 2 ninths will become 4 eighteenths and one-sixth will become three-eighteenths. So now when we subtract that, that will be x to the one-eighteenth. So now I can simplify this, and because two-ninths is larger than one-sixteenth, it will stay on top. If it had turned out to be a negative exponent, then we would have put it on bottom to correct it. So this is x to the one-eighteenth on top. Now we have our y's to deal with. We have y to the one-third times y to the one-ninth. So when we multiply like bases, we add the exponents. y to the one-third plus one-ninth power. So again, we need a common denominator in order to be able to work with those. So that common denominator will be a nine. One-third would be the same thing as saying three-ninths. So three-ninths plus one-ninth would be y to the four-ninths. So since those are both on bottom, I'm going to leave it on bottom as y to the four ninths. Now we have no more bases that are the same that we can work with. We have no negative exponents or anything like that. So this is as simple as our answer will get.